What's up guys, this is Jeremy and today we got a highly requested fragrance review about Yves Saint Laurent's Y. Guys, I had high expectations about this fragrance. As usual in my reviews, I'm going to show you what girls think about it. I'm going to show you how it competes with other big fragrances like Dior Sauvage or maybe in-house competition like Yves Saint Laurent's L'Homme Ultime, which is kind of similar to this one. And in the end, of course, you will get my recommendation and my rating. This is not influenced by Yves Saint Laurent at all. I bought myself this bottle, so no worries at all. First, I want to show you what's my first impression about this fragrance. Uh, here it is. Whew. Now I'm excited, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm, okay. Just um, loading my watch right here, automatic watch. Good, good, not bad. So, my first impression was pretty good and I can tell you, I enjoy it definitely in the opening more than in the end. What you get with this fragrance is mainly three notes, I would say. You get a lot of Ambroxan, which you also find in Dior Sauvage. You get a lot of Bergamot, which you also find a lot in Dior Sauvage. And you get a lot of Sage, which I think is the most creative part of this fragrance. We all know Sage more for medicinal things, but uh, actually it smells kind of nice and in my opinion brings a nice interesting sweetness to this fragrance but generally we have to say this fragrance Yves Saint Laurent's Y is nothing that will blow you away nothing that you have never smelled before in your life it won't blow you away it's nothing new okay we got that already so the thing about Yves Saint Laurent is many people have high expectations of this brand there's another fragrance that has been just released which is very similar to this one actually. And that one is by Lacoste and it is called L'Homme. This fragrance, this fragrance, this fragrance has a very, very similar vibe. It does have a bit of a rhubarb note added to the generally similar fragrance DNA, so it's a bit sharper, but I think it's a cool release. And also in the community, it gets high praises. Hey, nice release, Lacoste. Hey, you get a, did a good job. It's almost the same fragrance like this. Still, this gets so much hate because you obviously expect so much from Yves Saint Laurent, and especially it's known for creating new stuff. M7, La Nuit de L'Homme, those were fragrances that have created something completely new that Yves Saint Laurent can be proud of. And this, sorry to say, is too safe, in my opinion. This is a bit sweet, but not too sweet. This is a bit fresh, but not too fresh, okay? We don't want to scare these people away that like maybe sweet clubbing fragrances. So they maybe find also something they like in this. This is a bit woody, but also not too woody. So this has a bit of everything, but in the end, it's boring for most people. And also for me. Still, I see some kind of usage I could have for this fragrance, what we come to that in the end. First, um, I want to show you what do the girls think about this fragrance. Let's go. Okay, so I don't want to show you the scent that I have right here. So I'm spraying it under the table. So I want your honest opinion. Do you find this sexually appealing if a man will wear it or not? Yes, no. Do you dislike it? No, I don't dislike it, but it's... Um, nothing not, special? Nothing special, it doesn't say too much. No. Okay. It's okay. Is it a new fresh? Is it a new song? Why do you think so? Just asking. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. Under the table? No. But oh, okay, yeah, it actually is <laughs> the Yves Saint Laurent. Why? 
Because I was reading through your comments and it was like a lot of it's mainstream. So. Yeah. But you like it? Yeah, I think it's appealing, but it's mass appealing. And how would you rate this fragrance? Seven. And you? Three. A three out of ten? Yes. Okay. What do you think about this fragrance for a man? Is this sexy or is this not sexy? Is sexy. a man sexy? What do you think? I think it depends on the man. But yeah, mostly it's sexy. It's definitely not unappealing. It doesn't stink or something. No, no, Some no, fragrances no, no. do stink it's to some people or are too aggressive. No, quite, quite pleasant. Quite nice, it's pleasant. Good. So, if you would have to rate this fragrance from 1 to 10, 10 is the best fragrance, what would you give this for a man? Seven and a half. Seven and a half? I think six. Six. <laughs> okay, since Jana is a fragrance expert, I'm not going to tell her what this is. How do you like this fragrance? Is this sexy for a man or not? Yes, I like it. Citrusy fresh. Oh, there it comes already. <laughs> Citrusy fresh. Yeah, I like it. You like it's it? It's okay, it's nice. So if yeah. I smell it on a man, it's It would nice. be okay. Yeah, yeah. How would you rate this fragrance from one to ten? Six. Six. Have you smelled this one already? No. The new Y, Yves Saint Laurent? No, I haven't. So that's it? Yeah, cool. This is it. So, Perfect. it's alright? Yeah, it's good. That's main... Six is not bad. It's Six is better not bad. than five. Alright, cool. <laughs> okay, jetzt geht's weiter mit dem nächsten Duft. Was denkst du über den hier? Ich lass den kurz abkühlen. Okay. Am Anfang riecht man sonst zu viel Alkohol, ne? Ja. So, was denkst du über den hier? Oh, der riecht gut. Der riecht gut. Ja, ein bisschen fruchtig, sommerlich, frisch. Ja, den mag ich. Sehr geil. Ich hab den. Geil. Der ist gut. Was gibst du dem? Sieben halb. So here again, just on what I told you guys. You won't get a 10 out of 10 reaction and you won't get a 1 out of 10 reaction. So this is just, okay, grab for it if you don't know what to wear. Grab for it if you want to go really safe, if you don't want to disappoint anybody. Like non-offensive at all, but making still a good impression. So it makes a pretty good job, in my opinion, on telling you, okay, I am good for those situations where you can use only a safe fragrance. We gotta be safe, okay, no experiments right here. Uh, you know, this type of direction. But now we are talking about a different league of fragrances that I'm going to compare this to. We got the all-stars coming up. First, I want to tell you how long does this fragrance actually last? Well, on me, it had average performance. The performance of this one, I would score like a 6.5 out of 10. It's slightly below good. I would expect a bit more, especially when we have competition like Dior Sauvage that goes somewhat in that scent category with having at least 20 to 30 percent better performance and so 6.5 is okay it's slightly better than average but i wouldn't classify it as good compliments i did get compliments but not so many i had a few reviews in the past pure excess uh, because of, uh, stronger with you i got more compliments for those fragrances than for this um, i mean those two are very sweet head turning fragrances they do get more notices but still Compliment wise, they gave me more. This wouldn't join the top 10 most complimented list, 100% not. Still, it is appreciated by the lady. I have to say guys, to this date, I have never found one human female person that disliked this fragrance in about 20 askings that I did with different girls in front of the camera or not in front of the camera. No girl has said she dislikes the scent. So I think that's a good job. I had many girls saying they don't like Dior Sauvage or um, even L'Homme Ultime, which is supposed to be a very mass appealing fragrance or Bleu de Chanel. Some people say Bleu de Chanel is too sharp. I never got that comment with this one. So compliments, not so much, but safe ladies reactions, good ladies reactions, 100% yes. Still, what could I give this one? Not too good. I would probably give it like a 6 out of 10. But if you really talk about compliments. So 6 out of 10 in the compliment factory. Factory <laughs> category. Uh, uniqueness. Okay. What do we got, guys? This consists of a lot of notes. Obviously, the main notes that we have are bergamot, 
How unique is bergamot? Well, bergamot is the most used fragrance note in the history of fragrances. Everybody loves bergamot. It's not too expensive. It blends in with everything perfectly. It's a gorgeous opening from so many fragrances. So very common, obviously. What about Ambroxan? Well, um, since Creed Aventus, since Dior Sauvage, since uh, a couple of other fragrances that now are heavily using Dior, uh, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue for Women, are using a hardcore load of Ambroxan. This transparent, woody, sexy base is also very popular, although you pretty much don't even notice it. But what about the sage? The sage is something that I find unique, okay? It gives it almost like a tropical feeling. When you smell this, you read the note breakdown, you say, hmm, where's the sweetness coming from? And then you'd be like, you smell essential sage oil, you'd be like, yeah, that's the sage, cool, nice job. If this would last 30% longer, this would be a serious thing I would consider. So in the end, I gotta tell you, without spoiling this review, in the end, the longevity kind of missed it for me. So uniqueness regarding the scent, it's built on a very popular bergamot woody ambroxan base, added with a unique sage note, so you can say whatever you want. Anyways, I wouldn't call it unique. Um, you ask people, they won't tell you. It's something that I've never smelled before. But because of that sage note, let's give it a seven out of 10, which means it's starting to be in the good level. All right, so seven out of 10 for uniqueness. And the last thing, the la best comes last, the versatility. I would score this, <sighs> regarding the scent structure, a 10 out of 10. You could wear it in any situation, anytime, every day. But because of the performance, it's not so good. I have to have, make a few points back. If you wear this in the ice cold environment, it won't survive for too long. You know, you need long lasting fragrances and this one won't last so long in the ice cold or even in the high heat where fragrances tend to evaporate faster. So um, what should I give this one for versatility? Do know you could wear this in any situation, but also do know the scent won't last too long. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 for versatility, still its strongest category. And in the end, I'm not going to give this a 7.5, not going to give this a seven, I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. Slightly disappointed of this one. So yes, if you're simply looking for the safest yet somewhat sexually appealing fragrance, you could 100% go for this one. But do we really need that? Do we really need that? Don't we have some personality, some slight edges where we can say, okay, today I'm dressed very nice, very uh, formal, sexy, cool. I stand to my Prada Lom, which is 100% a suit only daytime, sexy iris upscale fragrance. 100% perfect in what it does. Am I dressed a bit casual, fun, nice? Dior Sauvage, go for it. Do I want to go for a clubbing fragrance? 100% Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male or Versace Eros. Those fragrances do know where they go and that's what I respect about them. Now, last fragrance I want to compare this to, uh, actually they have a similar color as you can see, is L'Homme Ultime. I actually think L'Homme Ultime is a better alternative from the own house of Yves Saint Laurent to, La, uh, to Yves Saint Laurent's Y. Why? Because it is similar, it has a similar scent structure, but it's much longer lasting, but you have to know it's a bit sharper at the same time, and it's more unique. So this is something that many people should also consider as a general nice fragrance, especially a bit towards the younger crowd, L'Homme Ultime. This would also be a fantastic alternative from the own house of Yves Saint Laurent to Y. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, I want to show you my shoes if you don't have a problem with that. My feet are hurting a little bit, but that's only because I'm wearing so cool shoes. Can you see that? 
Ah, okay. Ah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. <laughs> See you next time with another video. Peace.